Hello and welcome everyone to another wonderful SMI community meeting. Uh, first things first, please put your name into the attendees list so that we all know who's who. Do we have anyone new, anyone who hasn't been around before? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so my, my name is Patrice Krakow and I'm working as a, an architect at ING, which is a bank mainly retail in uh, Europe. I have been playing for the couple of weeks with, with SMI, so I was just thinking, let's let's have a look how it how it these meetings looks like. I remember you, ING folks. I was there when I was at Red Hat in Amsterdam, I believe. I can't mm -hmm. remember where, but um, cool, cool. So you're you're kind of evaluating it, or like what, what's your like, what's your plan? Uh, the, the, um, yeah, the, the plan regarding service mesh is that we, we have for a couple of years a kind of uh, in-house uh, service mesh and we are looking at on the, the market to uh, maybe move to an off-the-shelf solution and, and in this evaluation process uh, I have discovered uh, SMI. I, I would say I like it. The, the support by the vendor is not up to the level I would like it to be so I can easily compare, but uh, that's that's the whole story, I guess. Yeah. The damn cloud provider is a good thing that no one is around here. Um, oh, sorry, that's been recorded. We re re removed the, the damn. Uh, but yeah, um, that's awesome. Uh, anyone else? So thanks a lot. Anyone else who's been around not before and wants to introduce themselves? I'm I'm a bit infrequent, but I, I've I've been here before. If you sure, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go yeah, again, hey, this is this is Phil Gibbs. I'm a, a program manager here. I work alongside of uh, Bridget, and I'm the PM for OSM. So um, I'm getting back into uh, participating in these SMI conversations. So Lucky like is the 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 face, and and you're the brain. Pretty much. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. We'll have to be Perfect. sure to let Lockie know that he is, in fact, a pretty face. <laughs> um, anyone else? Charles? No? Everyone Everyone good? Yep. Yeah. Hi, I'm Charles. I work at Buoyant, so I spend a lot of time, spend all my time on Linkerd. So uh, we love working with uh, SMI, so I'm here uh, to see what's happening. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. All right, then uh, let's get into it. Um, first thing up in the agenda is, Bridget, you put that on, I guess. Stefan submitted the uh, TCP UDP route success control spec. So yeah, yeah I, met, I added it mostly as a reminder because I saw a couple of people had reviewed that, but it looked like if any other spec maintainers or others want to put comments on that, that seems like, sorry, it's very loud outside here. I'll mute, but yeah, I think people should review that. Do we, do we have any guidance or any expectations here? That, I mean, I guess we want to wrap that up at some point in time, right? Yeah, I mean, we can defer discussion on it until Stefan is on, but I just wanted to make sure that we have it on our radar okay. and don't forget it. Okay, Yeah, that's fair. Cool. So next one, the first community blog post. It's hopefully just the first and not the last. So that's congratulations. That's already great. And uh, hopefully many more to follow. Um, anyone here who has an idea? Like, uh, for example, Patrice, if you want to, um, I don't know how much you can share, but uh, kind of like us, if, uh, like we, we would kind of like, um, be all over you and ask you about you know your experiences, whatever, how you evaluate a service mesh, et cetera. And maybe you want to just, you know, put that up front. You you write a blog post saying like this is how we evaluate and then we don't have any questions where we don't bother you anymore. How about that? Yeah, that's uh, I mean it's it's still quite quite new, but this is definitely something I can I can consider for the uh the weeks to come. Awesome. Cool. I have seen that there are some some guidelines how, how to write what to write so I will I will go through yeah. that that's, but I guess it's the the, the, the yeah. usual stuff so it, it's important because so many folks at the current point in time are uh, evaluating and are kicking tires and trying to figure out coming up with a framework how to actually look at stuff so it's super important if if you can share I'm, I'm aware of that you know 
very often this cannot be shared. But if you can share that thing, like this is the way how we look at it, and there's no right and wrong. It's like it's your way, right? Mm -hmm. you describe what how you look at things. Yeah, that's um, yeah. I will put that on my to-do list. Awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, then uh, Aki gave a really great CNCF webinar. Um, and uh, any comments on that? Is there anything anyone um, wants to comment on that webinar? Going once, going twice. Okay. Um, keep it up, Mackie. Uh, another Stefan issue, 177, um, concerning the renaming of the traffic target to traffic access um i guess the same the same applies as to the other um if, if as long as he's not around it's probably a little bit challenging right if we and we can defer that, that until he's here yeah. i just want to make sure that we that looks like another yeah. one we don't want to forget about and want to make sure to follow up on but on 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 this one uh specifically i have uh I have indeed commented that uh, yeah, it's it says access everywhere, and then suddenly you have this um, target prefix, and I think it would uh, it's definitely a good idea. Now, of course, I don't know what are the implications of that, but uh, but yes, that that would sound terribly um, more consistent to call it uh, traffic access instead of traffic targets. And same for traffic split. Uh, maybe I should come with with something that the, the word split might uh, not be the best one. But I will make an issue for that. <laughs> cool. cool. Yeah, I think all the usability, UX, um, you know, what, what it, it's not necessary that, that people who write specs uh, have a have wrong perception or whatever. It's just, is that what most people who are in that area uh, consider as the, the most natural, the most self-exploratory term or not? So, you know, all that input is, is super, super useful, right? Okay, and um, so I, I think I wasn't around last time, so you gotta help me with that one. Maltron from the Kiali team asked about more work on the Istio adapter to help Kiali plug in. Um, do we have someone from who is working on the Istio adapter? I'm not sure. I don't think we have anyone present who is actively hmm. working on that, which is okay. I just want, again, I, I was looking at the last couple of meetings and I was like, I probably don't want to hmm. forget that somebody is asking about that. Maybe kind of an action item that I can take right. going forward is try to figure out who is going to work on that going forward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm, I'm interested in that because I'd, I'd like to have maybe like an, an Uber demo of all the providers, if that makes sense. Um, and then I was going to ask, I noticed that, that Istio adapted, it's in a separate like repo. Is that due to, is there like some CI testing or something? Is there, is there a reason it's like spawned off? Who are you asking this question? Oh, in, anybody. I, I don't know who created <laughs> I just know it's, it's outside of the main repo is like, like if we put like a link of D example in there or Kali, like, are we just creating a repo per, uh, I, I, you know, I think it's I'm the ones that sure. needed a separate adapter that don't uh, implement the spec. So I think um, the console adapter okay. right. and was, the Istio adapter were necessary. Okay. I got it. So if, if so if they're not implementing the spec and they're kind of at an adaptive status, they right. I, I don't know if we have they, guidance. You know. I was just thinking, I do have experience with, with console, not with Istio, but for console, that's the same as, as you said, Bridget. It's, uh, you have the console repo and then they ha you have a, a, another uh, SMI console adapter or something like that, which kind of translates the, uh, the SMI API into the uh, native console one. I, I so indeed, they do not have, have guidance. A, 
for for kind of like how we would structure the I, I don't know maybe we do and I'm not aware of it that, that could perfectly be the case in, in terms of how we structure the the overall github organization right if we have you know, one per whatever um, but do we want something do we like from from working backwards from a user coming to it like what would you expect would you like you know what what to have one big people with all that subdirectories or per no I, you know what i mean I, i'll give my two cents um i've been kind of uh talking to a lot of um uh, field people etc and i think the you know when we show off some of this some of this uh you know people who are kind of working in more of like a uh, homogeneous environment they don't understand the value of smi and i think if we can have some examples right next to each other of showcasing the different providers and saying, hey, here's the common API. I think the light bulb comes on. Uh, I'm just finding that a lot of people who've like dedicated their life to like Istio, et cetera, they, <laughs> when you show them this, they're like, well, I, I don't get it, you know? But then you say, hey, look, here's a way if you have a common tool chain of an API across, you know, multiple meshes, uh, but, but right now, I think what's happening, it's, it's hard to do a search and get that kind of consolidated view of kind of what SMI is touching. You know? And I think that's missing. Right. Right. No, that's, that's a very valid uh, point. And I, I do remember, I, I used to be active in W3C many years ago, 15 years or whatever. And there essentially in order to graduate to, to TR essentially was the requirement to have three interoperable implementations, right? So you could not, be a tech TR, I believe, was the highest one, without showing you have three interoperable implementations. And that's something yeah. that I, I, I think makes it, it's not about a shootout, right? Not, it's not about, oh, like I'm covering more. It's, it's showing that actually, look, the spec does something for you. Exactly. You can move stuff around. You get yeah. interoperability, yep. right? And, and if you, you know, it doesn't have to be a formal thing, it doesn't have to be, you know, a table or whatever, but having some. A device that actually shows that a nice demo, as you said, like an Uber demo, umbrella, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Right, right. And something that shows that value. I'm absolutely, and I, I would also be, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy, not in the driving seat, but if you have, uh, if, if you would own that, I would be more than happy to do my share in terms of like, um, you know, um, whatever is necessary, implementing, writing docs, whatever is necessary. Just kind of really. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, we can, I'm sure I can tag team with Bridget on that. <laughs> cool. Let's start off with a with an issue, and then we can uh, all try in there. Whoever wants to. Awesome. Cool. And since I'm taking notes, I'm writing down that Phil and Michael are doing this. I noticed how you tried to volunteer me, Phil. But <laughs> I tried. I'm going to be on vacation that. next week. I don't want to stall this. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Cool. Um, as far as I can tell, that was it in terms of the agenda. So just gonna open up the floor to you all. And if no one has anything, then we just grab it. Any questions, suggestions? I have a suggestion. My suggestion is someone should decide if they want to moderate on September 16th. Michael has done a very good job of showing us what that looks like. And someone else could decide if they wanna take notes on September 16th. And I've been doing that and the notes are, I will drop them into the chat. Um, so if you haven't been looking at the notes, you can look at the notes. I guess it, it's a good practice that the person who chaired or, or moderated next time takes notes. So I'm, unless again, if someone else wants to, I'm more than happy to do, take the notes and hopefully someone else moderates or chairs. Great. Yeah, if schedule permits, I may take a stab at that. Sorry, what was that, Phil? If schedule permits, uh, I may sign in for that. All I'll, right. I'll let you know. You okay. Minutes. Cool. All right. Any other input questions? Maybe someone who tried to relate to the game. If you join late, if you have anything you want to ask or say, now is your moment. Okay. Going once, going twice, and I give you back 13 minutes of your life. <laughs> have Hooray. A
Goodbye. Yours. Thank you. Have and uh, good luck. Good luck with your um, vacation. Also going to be. Nice. All right. Take care. Thanks. Thank you.